remaining eight talks about the divided kingdom and exile. So, now we see many prophets. Many prophets. Uh, how many prophets? Oh, by the way, the right question would be like this. How many prophets wrote a book in the Old Testament? Because there are a lot of prophets na hindi sumulat ng aklat. Elijah, Elisha, di ba? Oh, Prophet Marvin, di ba? Adolfo. Ay, di. <laughs> Seventeen. Okay, five major prophets and twelve minor prophets. Who can memorize the five major prophets? Good. Apat <laughs> lang. Who can memorize the 12 minor prophets? Hosea, all together. Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habagok, Sepanaya, Hagai, Sekaraya, Malakai. Very good. A. A plus. In yung grade don. Okay? These prophets now, okay, raised up by God to pronounce what, what, what they had received from God. Okay? And they, they pronounce it with so much conviction and clarity. When you go to these people, for example, one of those classic prophet or prophets by the name, okay? What prophet wrote a book with only one chapter? Obadiah. Okay? You will receive a generic pen. <laughs> As a gift. <laughs> Ang daming gift niya. <laughs> Ball pen pa yung nasabi ko. Yes, Obadiah is a classic prophet. You know? Oh, He went to his half-brother. No? The Edomites. The descendants of Esau. And he was asking and begging help. S-O-S. Our enemies are at our door. And we need your help. You know the response? No. They close and shut the door. And what an opportunity. Friends, when people out there, not only your loved ones, needed a help, needed a friend, how do you respond? Would you extend your hand of support or judge them and even curse them? No? Nakakalungkot. No? Magkapatid. Sabi niya, kayo na lang. You go on your way, we are safe on this mountain part of Edom and no one can touch us here, we are secured. You know, people sometimes who are in their highest point or comfort zones are the people who are not able to extend and able to help people because their comfort zones are preventing them to lend a hand. Ask that to your seatmate. Do you understand that? Because it's hard to move out from your comfort zone, really. No? Napakahirap yun no? sa atin. Now, yan ang example lang. Okay? Prophets. You read the story of these prophets. They speak about God's heart to these people. And so, what happened? The land was divided, we know. And then, fulfills his prophecy of judgment first on Israel. Israel, okay, Israel, and then throw them on the air, scatter, scatter. Okay, Israel, Israel. scatter. Okay, uh, okay. But the other kingdom, they were they were invaded by the Babylonians. Here in Israel, they were scattered by the Assyrians, and years after that, when this nation, okay, northern kingdom, Israel, were scattered or was scattered, another powerful kingdom, Babylon, came into the picture. They invaded the southern kingdom, Judah. Okay? Judah. Okay? We say Judah. We scoop the people there. Something like scooping. Okay? Something like Judah and say, Judah and say, exiled. Okay? Judah. Exiled. Israel. Scattered. And then, Judah. Exile. But they have a God who made a covenant that after 70 years, it's very clear in the scripture that God will return them back in their own homeland. How many years? 70 years. Why 70 years? I don't know. 
70 years of struggle. No? But God promised His covenant with them, I will return you back to your own nation. And after 70 years were over, and then God took them back and placed them in what He called the promised land. Okay? Judah exiled, one to ready, go. Judah exiled, and then Judah returned. The first wave of return, by the way, there are three waves of return. The first wave of return, after 70 years of exile, was led by Zerubbabel, along with 49,000 plus, 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 plus. So we, we say 50,000 na lang yan, okay? So Zerubbabel led the people, we call them the remnants, okay? After the 70 years of exile in Babylon. He led them, and then he has a wonderful project. And what was his project? To build the temple. But friends, it was unfinished. During the time of Zerubbabel, the building of the temple was unfinished. It, was, it has a delay. We know that. It's 14, 16 years of delay before the final completion of the temple, according to uh, history. But Zerubbabel, a godly man, who has the desire, what make him decide that his project is to build a temple? There, are, there is only one temple, but many synagogues. Because the temple keeps them united as one nation. Isa lang yan. No? Sinagoga, ang dami yan. A replica of the temple. Because to give way for those remnants or people of God worshiping that are far in the center. So they built synagogues, a miniature of, of the temple that they can go and worship their God. Here, he built the temple. By the way, friends, what a privilege to be part of any grand project of God, especially God's grand story. Do you believe that? Uh -huh. People are changed because they listen to God's word. And when people listen to God's word, the ministry of the Holy Spirit, we know that. I, I will not convince you, are all theologians here, okay? And the Holy Spirit will minister to the heart of people because He is what? The author of life change. We cannot change people's lives. We thank God. We are God's instrument of bringing about transformation. And so here, makita natin si Sirubabel. Sirubabel Temple. Ganun na lang. Okay? Sirubabel Temple. In between the first and second return, there is what we call a story gap. Okay, intercalation story of this young lady named Esther, a beautiful lady. Now we know the story, there are only how many chapters of Esther, but you see, one thing good about this book, some scholars say, and we observe this too, that there's no name of God in the book of Esther. But you know why? God is so active. Are there occasions or experiences in your life, friends, that <laughs> sometimes God is not there? Don't underestimate God. Okay? And sometimes in moments of silence, as if God is on a distant place. No. God knows us. God knows our hearts. He is not silent. He is there looking at us, looking at us, and journeying with, the, with us just like the experience of Esther. We know that. Esther, it was a dramatic you know, confrontation between evil and good. But God is behind the good. You know the story of this, uh, of this uh, evil man named Haman. Huwag mo nang tignan ang katabi mo. Haman. No, and you know the story? And you read the story of Esther. So encouraging to read, especially it fits to our context nowadays. There, there must be people willing to lay down their, their lives for the sake of truth. For the sake of truth. No? In our nation. Be like a modern Esther. No? Pag lalaki ka, Estero. Esther, Esther, wala eh. No. Esther, okay? Say, Esther Queen, okay? Esther Queen. Esther Queen. Okay? 
Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel Temple, and then Esther Queen. And then came into the picture, Esther. We know the story in the book of Esther. The key verse is Esther chapter 7, verse 10. Esther, anong ginawa niya? Four things he did. Prepared his heart. What else? No? He observed. What else? He teach the word of, and then he obeyed the word of God. Those those four elements of a life changing no study of the scripture. Esther was a priest, he was a scribe, he was a scholar, he was an amanuensis they call. No, he copied, he translated the word of God with power, and then he teaches the word of God to his people to build the people of God because. After those 70 years, people now begin to wander from their faith because there's no one in those years of turmoil that introduced God in the right perspective. Now, Ezra came into the picture to introduce God's word. You love God's word. You love God. You obey him. He is the one who came into the picture. That's why he built the people of God. Say, as we say, Ezra, sabi natin, Ezra people, one, two, ready, go. Ezra people. And the last wave of return, the first wave of return led by Zerubbabel. He built a temple. Okay, and there is a gap story there. I continue on with the history of Israel. Esther, queen, and then Ezra people. And the last wave of return, Nehemiah walls. Say, Nehemiah walls. Nehemiah walls. Nehemiah walls. No, no, no. It's up to here only. It's not. It's it's the flood. If if it goes beyond, okay. Okay. Nehemiah walls, and there is in between 400 years. The people are expecting. The contribution of the Jewish people when they go to the New Testament is they what? They kept alive the messianic hopes in their hearts. They are waiting for the consolation, and we say, wait. Okay. You you make a demeanor like this. Wait, whatever you put your own way, Christ. Forty steps. OT mini God's grand story. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Wait. Lagyan yun na exclamation po yun. Wait, Christ. Congratulations. Okay, okay. We'll we'll review them. Okay, this is a good thing. We'll review them, okay, all together. By the way, we will tell the storylines in between these 40. We are developing this. Uh, okay, okay. Let's review before we do our evaluation. Let's all stand, okay? One, two, ready, go. Creation, fall, flood, nations, Abraham, high Sahara. Jacob, Joseph, Moses, plagues and Passover, Red Sea, Law, openings and peace, counting, is fighting, wandering, dying, second law, Joshua, divide, conquer. Then, loving root. Again, again, loving root. Okay. United Kingdom. So, no heart. Half heart. Divided Kingdom. Mostly bad kings. Prophets speak. Israel is scattered. Judah exiled. Judah, return. Zerubbabel, temple. Esther, queen. Ezra, people. Nehemiah, walls. Wait, Christ. Very good.